Hello YouTube, Waterfowler2012 here. Thanks for clicking on the video. This video uh, is going to be a dual video uh, to thank two YouTubers that had contests that I had recently uh, won. I know guys, I'm on a roll. Um, Krista Blade started it off and then uh, won another one from Artist and Tony. And uh, this these two contests here are for Great Gaia Goddess and what you see before her is uh, what I received today in the mail uh, and the other uh, YouTuber is Prepper Potpourri and the interesting thing that I thought about today out of the four contests that I've recently won three of the YouTubers that had the contest were female uh, besides Artis and Tony and how rare it is that one there are uh, great women in our community that have channels but they're just in the small minority and here I am winning three contests from ladies and one from Artisan Tony so um, the AR-15 mag that I won from Artisan Tony uh, by the way is uh, being shipped to Oklahoma uh, to my uncle uh, Tony contacted me uh, in a PM and uh, had mentioned that since I live in the communist state of Maryland and as of October 1st it would be illegal for him to ship that here so I just told him to ship it to Oklahoma to my uncle and that's fine he'll make use of it there and uh, I was actually thinking of sending that magazine to him anyway okay so great guy a goddess uh, I won first place for the comment uh, portion of her video uh, giveaway and she had four winners. I was the first place winner for comments. And she had answered the question, what is your uh, own favorite item for preparedness or gardening and why? And ironically, my answer to her was uh, my prepping survival books, because always having a survival or life sustaining tips in writing for reference uh, is something that I'd like to have. And I actually won two great books. Um, I thumbed through them earlier today, and I'm looking forward to getting into them. They have so much information. The Homesteading Book, A Backyard Guide to Growing Your Own Food, Canning, keep, Keeping Chickens, uh, Generating Your Own Energy, Crafting, Herbal Medicine, and more. And then the Back to Basics 3rd Edition, A Complete Guide to Traditional Skills, Buying and working land, generating your own energy, raising livestock, enjoying your own harvest, household, household skills, crafts, and more. So each book, beautifully done. Hard, hardback books, um, just a ton of information, uh, colored photos, diagrams inside of these, just great. And I look so, I look so, I look forward to getting through these guys. Um, and that's a lot of reading and they're beautiful books I mean they're gonna be great coffee table books when I'm done thumbing through them so a lot of people are gonna see these books great guy I got us at my house they're gonna be on the coffee table and uh, maybe I'll plant that pepper seed into some of my friends and family that visit um, also <clears throat> in her contest I won uh, p38 which she has taped on to this packaging here and then a Smith's Pocket Pal Knife Sharpener. I actually own one of these. And um, if you guys saw my video, what's in my Maxpedition Fatty, I carry this in my Fatty in my vehicle. And this one's going to go in my bug out bag. And it's great to have two of them. I was going to invest in another one. Uh, I have had some success with just sharpening up some knives very quickly. And it, this guy seems to do a nice little job. Very happy with it. Also won a copy of the Declaration of Independence and Constitution, the pocket version. Love this. Never had one. This is going uh, probably in my book out bag as well. And then a barbecue meat hook. And this is kind of to put over the campfire and cook things. And the hook will be so that stuff doesn't fall off into the fire and lose your hot dog or beef or whatever you're cooking. We'll make use of this on camping trips, definitely. Love this little item. And here is the tag for that. And she also included a mystery gift. 
and the mystery gift was actually a pair of earrings and great guy, uh, great guy a goddess actually made these herself and my wife was so appreciative of these my wife actually makes jewelry uh, she makes sea glass jewelry and so she was very appreciative of these so great Gaia goddess thank you so much for that really appreciate this my wife uh, appreciated it and uh, I am going to give these back to her tomorrow I just wanted to keep them for the video I think she actually wanted to wear them to work tomorrow so I'm gonna bring these upstairs for tomorrow morning so when she gets ready for work she can wear them thanks again mystery gift was great okay oh I hit the camera <clears throat> So that was a great con uh, giveaway you had, Great Guy Goddess. The link will be below to check her out. Okay, Prepper Potpourri. Um, she had, um, oh, and back to Great Guy Goddess for a moment. She sent a great little note, and the, gro the note said, Mike, uh, congrats on your win. I hope you enjoy. Your mystery gift was made by me for you to give to that special person in your life. God bless, GGG. So, thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, Prepper Potpourri. Prepper Potpourri had a contest or giveaway, which was really cool. And um, it was called Prep It Forward. And for those of you that have seen the movie Pay It Forward with uh, Kevin Spacey and Helen Hunt uh, back, uh, it's a pretty old movie, but the premise of the movie was uh, they had a son and he would do favors for people and instead of asking for payment he would say, you know, do uh, something for three other people and have that grow, so it was called Pay It Forward. And uh, I had seen the movie, it's been years, but uh, I, I had ha have seen the movie. So what she was trying to do, and I didn't know this, but September was National Preparedness, Preparedness Month. And um, I learned that from her video as well. And what she was trying to do um, is to get non-preppers involved into being prepared uh, by someone in the prepping community, by maybe teaching them a skill, teaching them to maybe get into canning or gardening, maybe buying a non-prepper a crank flashlight um, and just getting folks into the mindset of preparedness and then she wanted to share um, what we did with three other preppers and try to convince them to do the same so we're you know growing this by people doing three 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 and sharing this with other people and growing the movement and even though it's the beginning of, of October I told her that I was planning on making my own homemade MREs and I had I have since post that video and I was going to give several of those homemade uh, MREs to neighbors and friends and I say that in the video and uh, I still have not given them out and the only reason I haven't is because I've had an issue with my vacuum sealer but I do have some made and I plan on um, handing them out hopefully this weekend to uh, I know at least a couple neighbors and, and possibly one friend that I might see at a party this weekend for Oktoberfest. At any rate, um, I think it's a great, great idea. And so this is my portion of sharing the video with other preppers in hopes that even though September's over, October's here, prep it forward, uh, guys. You know, even taking somebody hunting, I think uh, Prepper Potpourri mentioned that in her video just taking somebody hunting that's never been before and appreciate and eating the whatever animal you harvest that day um, and the camaraderie that you have with somebody when you go out hunting with them um, so I think that's a great idea that we still need to put out there and I think it's a good idea in our community to do that okay so in, in closing I'd like to thank great guy goddess and prepper potpourri the links will be down below guys please if you're not a sub to those guys go over and sub them they're small channels like myself they could use the support um, they have a lot of great videos both channels have great videos on first aid kits uh, safety items 
uh, just general prepping items, knives. So really, really great channels, and I am honored to have won these contests and <clears throat> basically support not only the contest, and I'm really not doing these contests to win all these uh, items that I've been winning. It's really more about supporting the community and supporting the smaller channels out there that are having these contests. And I've said this before in my previous videos, I plan to give back to the community and I plan to have a contest as well, but my threshold is 250 subs before I have my contest. And I'm still over maybe a hundred shy of that. So I have a lot of subs to get still before I have my contest, but I'm sure it will happen at some point. I'm shooting before the end of the this year, uh, hopefully by the holiday or right after the holiday season. But if it doesn't happen by then, it doesn't happen by then. Uh, but I definitely am going to give back to this community and have a contest uh, an, or a giveaway of my own and already have a few ideas of what I'm going to do. But anyway, don't mean to make this long-winded. Really appreciate everybody's support. Uh, and please go check these guys out. Sub them. Tell them I sent you. And what a great way to celebrate the September uh, National Preparedness Month, even though, like I said, I'm posting this in October. Okay, and as always, guys, if you're not into preparedness, you are preparing to fail. Mm -hmm.